Oh yeah, I don't think I have ever covered this. Um, and it kind of, uh, it, I think look at the question type, I think I can understand why there are so many tries. Because, um, you know, it's a matching question. There's a lot of possibilities. So, you know, sometimes you go through it, you get some right, you get some wrong. So you try it again, change some. And I can imagine someone easily doing 10 different tries, trying to get everything right. And, you know, if you're doing that, that's fine. I give you 100 tries or practically unlimited tries so that you are able to do that. But um, what I'm hoping is at the end of having gone through this, okay, so if you've gone through that exercise, you should uh, kind of have this as your correct answer. Actually, let me do this. I'm gonna do show answer and let me just select all those. A, A, B, B, A, and all Bs. So things that I'm marking as A is what's a force things that I'm marking as B are things that are not a force. And once you figure this out, I hope you spend some time making sure that you understand why this is correct. Um, and I hope you kind of start to see a pattern of uh, what we are labeling as force and what we are labeling as not being a force. Here's kind of an easy thing. Every single one that's being marked as a force uh, it has this, it has, um, sorry, I'm trying to get annotations. It has the word pull or push or push. Um, so those are all being labeled as force. And all the things that are being labeled as not a force, like a bee or a jumping off a wall, I can imagine someone initially marking this as force. And what I'm telling you is the way it's described here, it's not a force. It's because when we call something a force, we are not referring to an object, we are not referring to an event. It really refers to one very narrow thing. A force is a push or pull. Something that is going to result in acceleration and all that, but where you start up with is a force is a push or pull. <laughs> so when you talk about someone jumping off of a wall, well, it does involve a force. Someone's pushing a wall. So if I talk about push against the wall, that would have been a force. But jumping off of a wall, that describes an, um, I almost said action, and I think I'm trying to avoid the word action. It describes a situation that's happening. It describes an event. And the event could involve a lot of force, but the event itself is not a force. And uh, same thing here, acceleration of a speeding car. I mean, the acceleration, it must have involved the force for there to be an acceleration, but the acceleration itself is not a force. It's a very technical distinction. Um, and let's see, um, like uh, Earth and Sun. These are objects. Earth is an astronomical body, Sun is an astronomical body. Now, these bodies do exert a force. Sun pulls the Earth towards the Sun. That's why Earth orbits the sun. So if this had talked about gravitational pull of the sun on Earth, that would have been a force. Or even if it just said the gravitational pull of the sun, it also would have been a force. But when it just says sun, sun is an object and there's a bunch of different things about the sun you can talk about. So uh, the sun itself is not a <laughs> force. The gravitational pull exerted by the sun is a type of force. So it's, uh, it's something that I think uh, for many people, it takes kind of the whole semester to learn is that, um, well, you know, sometimes we physicists uh, can be, um, I think OCD is not the right description. Um, it's, you know how sometimes people can be overly literal, uh, almost to the point of like, you know, you might be on the autism spectrum and all of that is true. Um, uh, it, uh, it's because there's, that's the mathematical aspect of physics. Uh, when we are carefully defining a term like a force, we really do have to be careful because if we define it loosely, we use it loosely, then we say a thing, we think we, it means a thing and it didn't. And when you're in math class, definitions matter a lot. And in some aspects of physics, the definitions do matter a lot. You know, sometimes we do get sloppy and we use the words in the way 
that it's not the technical definition of it, but um, you need to be aware of what the technical definition is. Um, 